Hey everyone, Tooth Collect Jurassic back with another Jurassic toy unboxing. We are looking at the 93 Classic line from Mattel. Tons of vintage inspired but brand new toys coming out as part of the 93 Classic line here. We have Alan Grant with uh, the Gallimimus and Velociraptor. Uh, Ian Malcolm with Dilophosaurus and Triceratops. And this awesome track and explore vehicle set that comes with Scudosaurus. This stuff is so cool because it's all inspired by that 90s Kenner toy line. But it's brand new coming out right now. I actually got these from Target today. So they're just trying to hit stores and they're so cool. I mean, this is like the toy line I've been waiting for probably since I collect, started collecting in the 90s and Mattel's finally bringing it to life. So I'm going to be unboxing each of these today, taking a look, doing some comparisons with vintage figures, with some of the modern Mattel figures, all that good stuff you're used to. And of course, there's also the Red Rex as part of this line. I'll bring him on too, but I do have a its own separate dedicated review for that T-Rex if you want to check it out. I'll link it below. But let's go ahead and get started and start looking at these awesome new releases, starting with the human figures. Again, we have Dr. Alan Grant and Dr. Ian Malcolm. Um, these boxes are closed boxes, which I was a little kind of, um, you know, hesitant about because there's no like plastic blister so you can't see the toys inside but i assure you there's toys in here and what we have instead of that window is this awesome box art illustrated box art with you know we got alan grant and his bazooka the baby raptor the gallimimus um really really cool and the same thing with ian malcolm we have him in the glider flying and that background with the gate in the jungles so so cool um so despite not having you know uh, proper like blister packaging like a real action figure should. Um, these are still cool. Hoping that, you know, Mattel does not go in this direction. I saw that Hasbro just walked back on their windowless boxes. So hopefully Mattel's not headed in the right direction. And while it's cool to have artwork on these, I would have appreciated uh, that blister packaging too. And on the side, we have that classic Jurassic Park logo. And the backs are, are really cool of these too because they really, again, sort of like evoke that classic Kenner look with the little diorama they have back here showing what you can do with the dinosaurs. Uh, they show you what you can do with the accessories. This one has a firing missile launcher. This one has a similar firing missile launcher. And they have these little vignettes down here of the other toys you can collect. So we have the track and explore vehicle set, uh, the T-Rex, and then the other human figure, which I have both of them here. So um, pretty cool um, backs and fronts. I also want to point out that the, the artwork for these all has like this pointed effect. See how like it's supposed to look sort of like old school pixel painted. I love that sort of like dot matrix effect. Makes it feel more vintage. And I got to call out the typography too, because they totally honored the uh the kenner like um kind of like typesetting here with dr alan grant tactical claw pack i love that uses like this all the same sort of like uh typography as the vintage stuff dr ian malcolm and the glider escape pack so really really cool um awesome boxes all things considered love the artwork let's go ahead and pop alan grant open i don't think these are tape i think they're actually cardboard so this is probably going to be a little messy i was hoping that i could get away with just opening these these up without damaging them too much because i'd love to be able to display these boxes when i'm done but i might just have to settle with having a separate set but that's okay we'll do our best to open them without damaging them too much so there's that side of the box is open go ahead and pop these out i do know from uh some photos that's on the internet that this won't be the most riveting unboxing you've ever seen because there are going to be some baggies in here box is just empty see so yeah, we got bags <laughs> we got instructions but we do have a couple action figures in here um that aren't uh aren't in bags they're just kind of floating around in here so we'll go ahead and pop gallimimus out cool we got alan grant here looking awesome and then we have some accessories in these bags as well as instructions i will go ahead and put the instructions aside because i feel like I can figure it out. I feel like I'm somewhat of a professional, but um, we'll keep them handy in case we have to go back. Looks like here we have a little baby raptor. Let's see if we can get him to stand up over there. Nothing else in that baggie. We'll go ahead and put these guys here so we can see them. And then we also have... <laughs> ah, here's all the other good stuff. Lots of accessories with this one. Um, lots of accessories. I think that's everything. So it looks like there's a couple different... Oh, he's got two different guns. Wow. Okay, cool. Very cool. And then a couple different 
capture pieces and an armor set. All right, let's go ahead and take a look, starting with Grant himself. Look at this guy. So this is a little bit different than the Alan Grants we've gotten from Mattel so far. Um, you know, he's not like a Hammond collection figure. He doesn't have all that articulation, but he does have a pretty decent amount of articulation. He's got legs that move, um, you know, from the knee and the waist. He's got nice detail. He's got like a zipper and like a, like a little belt buckle, sort of like a, um, a more tactical version of Alan Grant. His arms move from the shoulder and the elbow, and then he's got a ball joint for a head. And it actually looks like a pretty good likeness of Alan Grant there, probably even better than the last Hammond Collection figure we got. Um, then he's got, of course, he's got his classic hat too. So um, great stuff there. You know, pretty simple figure. Looks like he's got his boots painted too. But what's really cool is you can take all these accessories and sort of kit him out. So looks like he's got like a ballistic vest that he can put on. So we can give him that uh, that vest action, which is cool. So we'll go ahead and stick that on him like so. Very good. Then once he's got that on, we can strap him on the back. So now he's got his ballistic vest on. You can also give him, oh, look, he's got binoculars too. Look at this. This is so cool. He's got binoculars. So you can put those on his on his, uh, on his his head. This is cool because most of these Mattel figures don't come with a lot of accessories. So he's got binoculars and a little ballistic vest. And he's got two different weapons. He's got like this kind of Harpoon Harrison-esque uh, uh I don't know how do you shoot this thing. Oh, this one doesn't shoot. It just kind of goes forward and backward. It's kind of just like a capture a capture thing that kind of goes back and forth. So no actual firing with that one. Um, and then it's got this awesome um, grappling hook. This is cool. Um, it's definitely heavy duty. Uh, but I love, Oh, it even has like a little bungee for the actual... Um, kind of like crossbow piece so we put the gun in oh cool when you put the missile in, it actually clicks that stuff back and you can shoot it oh and it works just like a grappling gun how awesome is that i mean that is that's pretty cool it's so ridiculously oversized but you know what that is how the kenner stuff was that's how the vintage stuff was so you know it really is <laughs> as, as ridiculous as it looks that is how it used to be um you know speaking of how it used to be i do have the classic kenner allen grant here you can see he's a totally different scale but um they definitely got the blue of the shirt right and all that stuff i wish i had his uh his um you know, like his accessories too, so we could do a comparison there, but I didn't want to get too many things out. And then just for comparison's sake, I do have the uh, Legacy Collection Allen Grant here too, because um, I do think that's a little more apples to oranges um, in terms of, or apples to apples, I should say, versus comparing this other Grant with the Hammond Collection one. These are more com comparable in terms of articulation and all that. So there's, there's our Grants just hanging out. Um, all three of them. This is my grant from when I was a kid, but this new one uh, looks awesome with his with his giant cannon. I love it. Um, let's take a look at the dinosaurs that come with him too. He's got a little baby Velociraptor hatchling, which is great. This isn't like a repainted mini or anything like that. This is an all new sculpt of a little painted Velociraptor. It looks really cool. It's got a little eye paint and a little bit of paint detail on the back too. Definitely reminds me of the Kenner. Again, we'll, we'll keep bringing our Kenner comparisons in here this is from series two Muldoon so definitely kind of um, inspired by that hatchling they used to put a lot of paint on these though look at that thing the tongue the teeth everything but this new one's not bad and again it's an all new sculpt this is an all new figure um, sculpted for you know miniature scale and then last but not least we have this awesome um, Gallimimus that uh, definitely is sort of a retool of an existing sculpt we already have but it has this really cool paint job with that electric blue on it definitely inspired by the um, by the Kenner figure which I do have here um, and they've done colors like this too before in the Hasbro line, but it's definitely directly inspired by this electric Kenner Galvimus. So you can definitely see the similarities there in terms of where they got this paint scheme from. But this figure has actually has even more articulation uh, than the Kenner version because it's got obviously arm uh, legs that move, but they also move back and kind of side to side as well as back and forth. We have arms with a pivoting joint on them so they can do a lot of different things. And the neck is on a swivel. So it can do all kinds of stuff. You can look behind it, all that cool stuff. No articulation on the mouth or anything, but it does have this really nice black pupil eye detail that I really like. Um, looks really cool. Love it, love it, love it. So that is the Gallimimus. 
Now it also has the scan tag in here. You can pull it up there, hidden in blue there. It just pops back in and there it is. And then also the Galanimus, which is cool, has capture gear too. So it comes with this little uh, muzzle you can put on them that hooks right there. And then you can hook onto the, uh, there you go, hook onto his hands like so, looking great. And you can also hook his feet together like so. So he's completely captured. I love it. Looks awesome. So there we go. Fully captured Gallimimus. Just like the Kenner Lion, the Series 2 had a bunch of capture gear and they've brought it back. And not just like one generic piece, but like all these other little pieces. And there's really good detail on the capture gear too. You can see like little links in the chains and little holes for the like air holes for it to breathe so they did a really great job and it literally just pops on and pops off pretty effortlessly honestly so um that looks fantastic so there you go there's the uh the alan grant tactical claw pack i love the the harpoon that he comes with i love that it has like an actual harpoon action and you know having Two dinosaurs is definitely better than one, so I love the little little hatchling too. Let's go ahead and open up Dr. Ian Malcolm next with the Dilophosaur and the Triceratops. See if we can similarly open this without mutilating the box. Again, I'd love to be able to love to be able to display these boxes if I can later. So open that up, pop it open pretty effortlessly. And then pull our figures out here. Ah, hold on. I'm knocking these guys down. We'll go ahead and put them back here while we open up Ian Malcolm here. So same thing as before. There's probably just going to be a paper insert. Oh, these guys all come in bags. Interesting that Grant didn't all come in bags. I thought was, some were bags, some weren't. So let's go ahead and see what's what in here. First little white baggie is going to be our random accessories. Next little bag, I think this is gonna be the figure. Yep, there's uh, there's Ian Malcolm looking cool with his gloves. Hold on, make sure I didn't, that box felt heavy when I threw it to the side. Um, so many little baggies in this guy. He's got, uh, ooh, more accessories. Jeesh. Um, Almost done here with the surprise bags. Another gun. And then what do we have here? Oh, we have a hatchling. Love it. Love the Triceratops. And then we got instructions, which I will keep handy just in case we have to build this. Looks like there's some building involved. And then lastly, we have the Dilophosaurus, which interesting that, again, that it's in a bag and the other one wasn't in a bag. Oh, this is cool. I like the scale of this one. I guess I thought he was going to be bigger, but I kind of like how how small he is. Let's go ahead and talk about Alan Grant or uh, Ian Malcolm first, right? Um, uh, my toys are falling down. I don't think I had his feet perfectly, perfectly level. Let's go ahead and set them back up. We'll let them to stay up while we talk about. Okay, so let's build this glider for Malcolm here. But before we do, let's talk about the Malcolm figure. Uh, he, he looks really nice, actually. He's got the, uh, he's still got the like, plastic glasses that the other um Muldoon or the other Malcolm figures have from Mattel uh I can go ahead and bring the uh legacy collection version so we can do our comparison here so you can see they both have the same kind of glasses but the likeness on this one's definitely better um the new one is definitely better and he's got those gloves um which are definitely reminiscent of like the Lost World Kenner um a Malcolm, which I don't have for comparisons, unfortunately, but I do have the, I think I do have the Kenner one. So you can at least see there kind of the similarities with these figures there, but the gloves were definitely inspired from Lost World. And of course he has all the same impressive articulation as the Grant figure I covered in terms of arms and legs and head and all that stuff. So he's looking really good. Then he also of course has all of his gear that he can put on. He's got the, uh, this, uh, can I, can I open this up or how does this open up? I guess we should, we should read the instructions for this one. Just so we, just so we do this right. It looks like the backpack goes on. Hmm. 
Oh, only one side of it opens. And then you put the wings on. Gotcha. Okay. So that's how it comes. It's got one strap on and one strap off. So you literally put this on him. And he's got a little peg in his back. You see the hole. And this thing, in theory, just locks onto that. And then you put his little... You just put this little strap in the other part. And then it should be good. All right. And then the wings look like they go on basically any different direction. I don't think they have an up or down or a forward and backward, I should say. And then he's got, get that on there. No, not gonna go in. Maybe there is a way for these. Okay, this one goes on this side. It looks like there's pegs in here that show you which, which side they go on. So my bad for not doing that right. I think. There we go. Okay, so now they're both on tight. So now he's got his glider, which again, definitely heavily inspired by the uh, the Lost World um, action figure. And then he's got this, he's got like this, see this translucent green missile and backpack sort of like firing a toxin or something like that. Definitely inspired again by those Kenner toys. His gun is ridiculously oversized. I'm guessing it shoots an actual, ooh, that's a, he that's a powerful blast too. I'm, look at that thing. That's... That's serious. Um, very powerful blast. So he's got this awesome cannon that he can hold as well. And of course, he also whoo, flies around, you know. You know how they do in the movie where they fly around? But no, I love those sort of fun play features that these uh, vintage-inspired toys have. It totally, it's totally awesome. Um, you know, that's what was missing to me from a lot of the other Mattel toys is these kind of fun, over-the-top story-building accessories. So now we got them. Now he's got his giant gun and glider pack. Elsewhere with the dinosaurs, we have this nice little all new Triceratops hatchling, which is super cute. I love it. I love the little black eyes and all that stuff. It looks great. Um, a nice solid figure too. Um, and he is definitely inspired by the Kenner Triceratops. Um, there's even a Lost World version that, again, I don't I don't have for this review, but matches it pretty closely. But this is the initial one that came with Ellie from the 93 line. So you can see the similarities in terms of sculpt proportions and paint and all that. Um, but yeah, little, little Triceratops. And he actually comes with this little handy-dandy carrying case that you can capture him in and then pick him up and carry him around. So... Um, you know, if you ever just want to capture a baby dinosaur and haul, carry it around like a purse, that's what this piece is for. So he, he can literally just grab a hold of that and carry it around. I love it. Look at this guy. He's totally ready to go. He's got his triceratops, his giant toxin cannon. He's ready to go. Um, let's see if I can get him to hold his gun so he'll stay standing up. Yeah, he's he's loaded down with stuff. Look at this guy. He's ready to go. But, I mean, he does stand up really well, all things considered. Then, of course, we have this new Dilophosaurus, an all-new figure, um, all, all new sculpt even, but the paint, of course, is going to be new on this one too. He's got um, pretty standard articulation, almost like an attack pack figure, where his, I think his, his legs should move. Yeah, his legs move back and forth. Um, not very much, but they move. Um, and then his arms move back and forth too. He also has... I like the little molded um, frill. I don't know if you can see the frill at the base of his neck is actually molded. Then his his uh, mouth opens up too. Really cool. I like his little eyes looking forward. That's neat. Interesting paint detail on him. Green with yellow. Definitely not inspired by anything that I know of for Kenner. Then his whole back opens up, I think. Yep, into a, a scan tag. So he's got the scan tag there. Um, and then he's got capture gear, just like the Gallimimus. Um, Gotta shut his mouth first, but you just and I like how this is soft rubber, so it's not gonna kind of be hard on the on the dinosaur as you put this on. So it just pops right over his little crest there, which is fun. A lot of nice detail on that with claw marks and little bolts and see little scratches on it. Really fun. And then he has got um perfectly shaped for his posture um capture gear that'll pop on his legs. For front leg and back leg, as well as the two arms. So then he's perfectly, perfectly captured. Can't go anywhere. So then you got two captured dinosaurs. 
you know, the Gallimimus and the Dilophosaurus. It's funny how, the, how much bigger the Gallimimus is than the Dilophosaurus. You're getting more dinosaur in the other set, but also Malcolm has a lot more going on in terms of accessories. So I'm guessing that's why there's the disparity there. But that's really cool. Um, again, the capture gears is such a genius inclusion here. I love what they've done with the capture gear. It looks great. Um, I love this Dilophosaurus figure, how it's kind of an all new sculpt with that frill too is really cool. So there is Malcolm and the Dilophosaurus looking fantastic, which brings us to our final piece to unbox, the track and explore vehicle. Let me back off our figures here so that we can really get at this one without, um, without knocking everybody over. And then we'll go ahead and get the Red Rex on here so we can look at all the 93 classic figures all at once and all their glory because oh, are they glorious. I am just so impressed with these. They're everything I wanted them to be and more, honestly. So let's go ahead and get the Track and Explorer vehicle out. If you didn't know, um, this vehicle is actually sort of based on a canceled Kenner figure or a Kenner set from a long time ago where they were going to repaint the Jungle Explorer. Um, and that's what this paint deck was based off of. Something I've always, always wanted was that toy. And now here's Mattel um, releasing it sort of in their own way with this track and explore vehicle. So cool. So box art here, pretty much the same thing. Huge Jurassic Park logo in the front that you love to see. Also love to see the JP30 mark back here on top. It's going to have like a little diorama back here too, showing, you know, the missile firing, all the different things it does. Uh, it's got like a la uh, little platform that folds in and out for sh the shooting platform, capture gear, all that good stuff. And then Scutosaurus they have labeled here too. So all that stuff here as well as little vignettes of the other 93 classic stuff you can get. But enough about that. Let's open this up. I literally cannot wait to get this toy out. I'm so excited about this one. This is probably the, besides the Red Rex, what I've been the most excited about was this vehicle right here. So, Scutosaurus is free. Vehicle is probably going to need to be opened up from below if I had to guess. I don't think there's any salvaging this box. I think it's probably going to get pretty messed up opening this up to get to the bottom of this truck. But we'll see. Maybe it can do it without making a huge mess no promises but maybe so there's the front and the sides out what do we got here still doesn't want to oh we got to get these bottom out all right there we go okay now we should be able to get to the bottom of this maybe a little bit easier let's see if i can reach in here and see what's going on looks like there's like those twisty plastic things in here so yep pretty simple I, I say pretty simple as i like have my entire arm stuck in this box and then let's go ahead and get the, the little pieces of capture gear out, out of this top part too can i do it without knocking over any toys yes i can yes i can so lasso i think there was a missile one missile you give me one missile in here all right so you get these plastic pieces off this oh this thing is awesome obsessed oh my gosh this thing is this is what i came for oh my gosh this is so cool the colors are just look incredible obviously in hand it feels great too but i mean look at those colors that that like sort of like tealish blue um greenish blue even and then like this vibrant electric green on the bottom it just looks so cool um this thing definitely reminds me of the ford Ex or the ford explorer tour vehicle i almost want to say it's the same base sculpt yeah it is it really is like the same base sculpt it's just um got a couple different things reworked with it um obviously you know different pieces go on different vehicles but definitely use the same base base uh toy if you will and then just uh modified it for this excellent new 93 classic version which i love but let's talk about the accessories here because i'm i'm ready to jump in we got the doors that open all four doors open so you can get a whole capture crew in here just like the ford explorer love that also has this really cool uh, uh I guess damage cage that flips down on the front of the vehicle so you know you can 
you can, I guess, have full visibility. And then when things start to get rough, you can slam down the cage and protect yourself from dinosaurs. And then it has this capture gear, which looks like, you know, you can poke it here. Maybe there's a good like right here on the side, maybe. Oops. Let's try that again. Right here on the side, I said. Yeah, like that. And then this things in here and i think this thing's on like a whole arm yeah this this whole shooting platform can can kind of like rotate around and go all the way on top you can go all the way down that's cool and i let me let me go back and look at the do i have the instructions somewhere did i i was gonna look and see if the uh if the uh harness went anywhere else but i guess maybe it just goes goes right here and then you can pop it off and use it to to capture um the guys can hold it maybe speaking of guys let's let's get some guys in here um and check it out let's go ahead and get alan grant you gotta drop your giant gun if you want to if you want to be on this so you can see this this gun platform has little pegs too so that they can literally stand on it and not fall off they have pegs on their feet so he'll just pop in there and then you can put him on his his hands can hold the handles here and everything, so he's ready to go. And then it's got a missile too that shoots. I don't want to lose it. I have to get up and, and find it, but it shoots pretty fast. You can launch it back there. So there's Grant back, or yeah, Grant back there on top. We can go ahead and get um, drop your drop your Triceratops purse. Let's get you set up in this this truck here for a second see how it looks with everything in. he can be in the driver's seat okay pretty much yep just fit right in here and we'll put your hand out the, out the side here so that you can hold on to the grappling hook i love it look at that these guys are ready to go capture some dinosaurs of course the dinosaurs dilophosaurus and gallimimus are already uh, fairly captured, but not the Scutosaurus, which is the one toy we haven't talked about yet. Scutosaurus, this is the second version that Mattel has done. I love the wild colors here. The orange is just super, super vibrant. And what's cool about this one is there's no action feature like the previous Scutosaurus we had, which I do have here. So this is the second Scutosaurus we've ever gotten. This first one was pretty rare, and this action feature was all tied into the tail, moving it around, but it also had some head articulation. Kind of boring colors if you ask me, but it was a rare toy, so that's what, that's what makes it cool. But now we have this new one that um, it, instead of action feature, it has full articulation on the neck as well as the head has articulation independent of the neck. So it can do a little bit more cool poses of looking up and down and all that. And then its legs have articulation and its tail kind of has a little bit of articulation too course it has the scan tag back there but um you know not no action features with this version of it it's just got more more articulation um basically so i really like that big clean neck ball joint really nice um i love it yeah it looks like the legs just move back and forth there's no um like different pivoting points on them if you were trying to you know make its legs flex away so you know these guys can literally pull up on this thing the this grappling hook is a little bit bendy plastic so it'll actually go around the scutosaurus's head then they can you know oh no hold on to the grappling don't 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 let go of it. Well, <laughs> all right, then they've, then they've got him, you know, he can pull the truck along and then they can take the gun here and take him out. And I like how this gun moves around too. So you can get really high shots if you want, or you can make it go really low. You can already, you can even make it go flush with the cab of the truck too and kind of keep it low profile. And then he can, you know, shoot the missile and tranquilize the scutosaurus so so much fun playability um with this little truck i think um it's just a really cool really cool ode to a canceled kenner figure that i am all about and i love how you can just oh i see this this little um this little lasso is actually on a little rotating my my vehicle keeps trying to 
roll off the table, I'm sorry, but this lasso actually rotates on here. I was trying to see how you could get it to stand on the side of the truck without popping off, but you just rotate the lasso and then it, it'll stay fine. So let's go ahead and get Malcolm out of here. Come on, Malcolm, you've had your turn in the truck. We've got everybody geared up so we can face off against the T-Rex, the other 93 classic toy that I'm not reviewing as part of this review, but I will definitely bring it out since it is part of this amazing collection of toys that I'm looking at today. I have this vehicle. It's just the coolest thing though. I am like obsessed with this vehicle. It is, they did such a good job on it. So let's go ahead and get your, your pack back on your amazing gliding pack. Again, the, 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 the playability and sort of like world building they've added into these 93 classic figures is everything. And again, something that I think was sorely missing from the um, from the Mattel figures we've already gotten. So if there's one thing I would love to, Mattel to learn from this line, is like include these kinds of things in your baseline figures. Heck, keep doing the 93 Classic line because we've got a lot of great toys with this already, but you know we don't have Ellie Sattler. We don't have Muldoon. I mean, do the rest of them because I know myself and many other collectors are loving these already and if you just keep doing different ones we would just keep buying them so um i know these are the only two figures they have due for this year but i'd love to see them do more next year with 93 classic i know this is like a uh 30th anniversary sort of special deal but come on let's just keep the party going who cares if the, if the 30th anniversary is over next year let's keep this 93 classic line going because it is so cool oh, Grant, hold your giant grappling hook if you could i love that that has this like the, these bendy wires that go back with the the bolt though i did not know that it had that that's that was a nice surprise so there's the dinosaurs so I can get these guys a little more lined up. And we got the dinosaurs. And we got the hatchlings too. But what's that? Impact trimmers. We have the Red Rex. The final 93 classic toy. And again, if you want to watch my full review of this one. It is such a cool toy. Just like all the rest of these. Just an amazing, amazing release from Mattel. Um, and it definitely rounds out this just incredible wave of toys that they've done for the 93 classic line. This Red Rex, it's got the real feel skin and all that, and it just totally nails this kind of old school retro vibe that they've obviously done so well on these other figures I reviewed today. So this is the entire 93 classic line. I love it, I can't get enough of it. Um, and again, this stuff's just hitting target now. I think the official floor, floor set date is April 16th, so definitely be on the lookout for that. But man, I mean, look at these incredible toys. Um, we got everything we need for, you know, again, that playability, you got humans, you got dinosaurs, you have accessories and capture gear and all that good stuff, vehicles. I mean, this whole play program is just incredible. So again, I hope Mattel keeps doing 93 classic because these toys have totally nailed it. Um, again, available at Target, April 16th. Definitely check these out. Support the line because it's just so cool. But I hope you enjoyed this review of these new figures. Uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more of these kind of Jurassic toy reviews and toy news and all that good stuff. But I think that's all I got to say about these guys. Again, I'm Taylor Collect Jurassic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.